Hi, we're live! Hello, I'm Andy with the Offbeat Doula, and we are here today with Lacey from Chinook City Doulas and Nathan from Proud Fertility. Fertility. Okay, let's baby rap battle. What are we supposed to do? Okay, so I'm here today to judge you guys for speed and talent. We never judge. I don't like judging. <laughs> but I always <laughs> win. <laughs> so I'm going to give you your baby. This What's is, his name? This is Luca, straight from Germany. Holy Luca God. is an eight pound, three month old. True bread <laughs> <is, man. laughs> Six and we have pound baby. Emma from the US. Aww. She's six pounds. All right, so I want you guys to wrap the best way you know how, the fastest you can, and I will tell you you know, how awesome you are. Where we started. Can you say go or do we just get to Okay, go? no, just wait. <laughs> okay, and go! Come on, come on, I the camera. Oh my gosh, this hat just came off. <laughs> this is... I do need this. <laughs> I really don't think... <laughs> you got this. Like, the speed is just like... Confidence is important. <laughs> 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 okay, I think I'm... What? There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back and enjoy us. Obviously, some do it better than others. All right. Well, first of all, <laughs> I'm like, no, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I have been baby wearing for 16 years and teaching for 10, and this might be the worst thing I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, when we're talking about baby wearing safety, that's an issue. That is a safety issue right <laughs> <Okay>. there. <laughs> So you've been doing it for 16 years. Let's just reset. Hopefully you'll teach us. And before we do, can you just tell us? Okay, this is a very heavy, heavy German bratwurst here. Brat -wurst here. <laughs> but why would anyone do baby wearing? I feel like it's, is it for people that just don't, can't afford like a stroller or something? <laughs> like, Funny you should say that actually. In some places in the world, it is, it is a status thing. And, um, it, you know, in Ecuador, it's if you can't afford a stroller, you wear your baby. But here, it's everyone just just wears their baby, because babies expect to be carried. So you're going to either <sighs> carry your baby or wear your baby. So hmm. wearing seems to be the easiest thing to do. It's like a um, new fashion item. It's like a Louis Vuitton. It's, it's an accessory, <laughs> and with all the different options, you could, you know, wear any kind of carrier and look fabulous. Okay. Are there like different fabrics that are better than others? Like this is very stretchy, I can tell. Yes, and yet this is not that stretchy. Like this is oh. this is a stretchy wrap, but it's one of the least stretchy kind of stretchy, stretchy wraps. Stretchy is good. Um, well, it is it is for a newborn. Yeah. Okay. No, not. Any <laughs> <laughs> hey, questions from you? Should not say do a lot of clearly. Well, I yeah. think uh, we should establish after what just happened here. Is it safe? Clearly not, because don't <laughs> fall out. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Baby wearing, to have your baby strapped onto you is literally the safest place that a baby could be. Hmm. Literally. Even when there have been incidences, there are far less than any other means. Whether it's carrying a baby, car seat, car, bike, whatever. That's the safest place a baby could be. It is inherently safe. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, there are many babies in the world. All <laughs> different colors. Just so you let you know, we are at Haley Hamilton Photography. It's an amazing location, and it's like an actual commercial space. So thank you very much to Haley for allowing us to use your space. Just a little shout out to her. Okay, so I have a question. I do a lot of YouTubing. Why would I even bother going to someone like you right. when there's just a bajillion videos to teach me how to do baby okay. wearing at its finest like I just demonstrated? All right, so a huge group that I often help are the post YouTubers. And I go to them after they've been attempting <laughs> to use YouTube for weeks. You know, and I go and they're like, but I did exactly what she showed and I did this fancy tie and I'm like, let's break this down. And let, let you me need help. You need help. Stop what you're doing right now. Turn off that YouTube <laughs> and let's get some hands on help. If you have somebody that will come to your house and help you, why wouldn't you do that? That's yeah. crazy. It's like pizza delivery. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you come to your house, convenience. Are there courses that we can take? Or do you, do you is there like a baby wearing institution? Yes. So, um. It's called I, Offbeat Doula, by the way. Oh. Offbeat doula, yeah. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. institution. That's right, that is the institution. I teach them. <laughs> Although I did take training as well from the Center of Baby Wearing Studies. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they are fabulous, and their philosophy aligns with mine, which is why I went with them. Um, I teach 
private consults. I also teach doulas and healthcare professionals, mm -hmm. uh, and that class is worth credits for their research. And it's a fantastic class. I have taken it, and, and I'm making it longer. I've got. Longer. I realized I couldn't do so much in three hours, so oh, now it's so a six-hour program, and we go into so much more. Yeah, it's and like awesome. I'm a baby to everyone else. else ever and it's an amazing like I learned so much it is open to it so like anybody could take it but we go over a lot of like um, how to teach your clients yeah okay. when to when to introduce baby wearing to your clients how mm -hmm. to talk to them to build confidence that sort of okay. thing yeah um, so I do that private I do group lessons I do a lot of tandem twin teaching and um, oh my gosh, people wear twins? Yeah. I've seen that. It, it, that looks very It's amazing. fantastic. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one and, wiggles, the other one just comes out. No, no. no. Okay. And the last class I teach is a prenatal baby wearing series. So we do three weeks of classes, um, and they practice while they're pregnant, and then when they have baby, I go do a postpartum visit oh, that's awesome. within the first week of having baby and making sure that they are off to the best start. Yay! Yay. So if any of that interests you, offbeedoula.com. Exactly. So, do you have any other questions? I don't. I would love for Andy to give us a quick rundown of like a really basic carry that everyone can start with and um, see if Nathan and I can get Improve my skills. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to trade this baby out. It's like way too you heavy. Babies? I feel like your okay. baby is really skinny. Okay. Very often. This is from the U.S. I don't eat anything unhealthy there. <laughs> <laughs> not nice. Not okay. cool. So this baby's actually like 10 years old. What? Yeah. That's a 10-year-old baby. Serious yeah. malnutrition. It's like the, wow. the Benjamin Is Button it just baby. open it up? They're pictures. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's watch you. Let's okay. So watch what I do here. We're going to do a quick front wrap cross carry. I'm going to teach you how I might teach my clients, but there's more to it. I'm not going to show you everything because I want you to actually come to me. Hire me. Okay, <laughs> so find the middle of your wrap. There's probably going to be some sort of middle. middle. You're holding my baby by the arm. <laughs> what's going on, Nathan? God. That's what they do with those wolves. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you so. You can't do that with your real baby, you know what, right? You treat these babies mm. like a real baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, find your middle marker. Okay. Put your arms about shoulder width apart. Um, with the baby? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Well, that's what I told you. I was holding Put the babies the down. No more babies. We're this, learning. You guys are killing me. Ugh. Okay. We've got it. A mill marker. Okay. Arms, Here we are. shoulder width apart. And you're going to cinch it up about one third. You're going to grab in your hand. Okay. Then we're putting it on like an apron. Like right under my breasts? Yeah. And we, you guys can watch me do okay. this. <laughs> And then pass it all into one hand. So you've got all of this in okay. one hand. And then you're going to reach under one side and grab this other one. And pull out to the side. Ooh. Bring it to the front. Get your elbows in there and shimmy it up. Shimmy. Okay. So now we're going to make sure that our shirts are not completely <laughs> up our back. So fix your shirt, fix yourself, and then we're going to make sure we didn't twist anything. Okay. Oh, I don't cover my breasts. Obviously. So you grab, <laughs> you grab the closest edge to your neck. Okay. Grab that, and then you're going to grab the top here and draw your back and make sure that didn't get twisted. Okay. We'll get the gist of it later. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the best you can. And then do the same thing with the other side. Okay. We want to make sure that it's spread across our back and not twisted. Clearly, why it's twisted. But we'll continue. <laughs> Just throw this thing in It my takes head. time. Lots of learning curve. Okay. Curves. So, we want to make sure there's enough room for baby. So, we look here, there should be about 8 to 10 inches or whatever will hold your baby. Oh, whoops. Maybe so, it's really inserted now. I'll take this one. Okay, I'll take this one. Take okay, care. so, loop out. Loop So, up on one shoulder like you're doing a high burp. And then reach under and just feed the feet through. And then you put baby where you want them. You're not, you're not pulling up over their back. You're just holding the baby right here. It should be in the, the crook of the knees. Okay, now we're going to lift up the top two thirds. You'll pull it so high that it could go over the baby's neck, but it won't. Okay, and then we're going to go from knee to knee and between you and baby and create a deep seat. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so now you have to start with the pass that's on the bottom. You can figure out which one this is by reaching behind your back. And if you feel fabric on top, then it's the other one. 
So just pulling one third at a time, we're gonna do the, the top third straight out, one, and then middle third, two, and bottom third, three. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the other side. One, two, three. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna walk our hands up to the nape of the baby's neck. Is that safe? <laughs> it will be. That. Okay. And then we're gonna go up in a beat. <laughs> oh, it's actually safe, yeah. No, baby's safe. I'm gonna tell you what to look for. Okay. Okay, bring it under the bum, cross, and then bring it back under the knees, and then tie off behind. I love how I asked you earlier if it was kind of like tying the tie. Uh, Are there many different ways to tie it too? Like different tie ways and different. And this is the simplest one, right? Yeah, this is a new, oh, yes. this is a newborn carry, so I wouldn't simple. say it's the simplest, oh. um, but it's the one that you usually would start with. Okay. If you're going to a woven wrap, there's so many other carriers though, so you can do whatever. And the things you look for are: is the baby's back supported? And can you see the baby's face? Airway is open and protected. Um, make sure the baby's not going to freeze. See, I, can see the baby I feel like I should just get some good photography, like some couple, and then just go yeah. the day. <laughs> we we have a lot of good baby rank photographers in Calgary, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do men actually do this? They do. There's a culture. Is there they a meetup group for men? There should be. Do? You know what? We actually have a million male... dollar idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a male educator in in Red Deer. Okay. For real reals. Guess what? There's also a male doula called the Birth Guy. Oh. Cool. Somewhere in the states. <laughs> Guys can do anything. Okay? Yes, except I <laughs> can do anything that women can. No, Ladies, no, 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 no. do you have any other questions? Um, so I did want to know, um, what do you think everyone wants to know, what, what do you recommend for the best carrier to start with? Okay. Carrier means actually this, The right? carrier is what you're putting around the baby, yeah. Oh, so the, this, this is called a wrap, yeah. but a carrier also is the same word that you can use interchangeably. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to get out of this because you need to know how to get out of it and I have a super fun way to show you. So you just put your arm through. Yeah. This is a new Put trick. your arm through. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Everybody's oh mind gets blown when I do that. Baby's out. <laughs> I love that. I would have just grabbed it by the head. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me... Did you say best carrier? Is that what we're... Best carriers. Just okay. like... Yeah. Nice so let me tell you about the best carrier. <laughs> the best carrier is going to be the one that is comfortable on you. The best carrier is going to be the one that holds your baby and supports them in a way where you can do supported carry, open airway, all that stuff. Um, and the best carrier is going to be one that fits your budget. So, short answer, there is no best carrier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, do you, you know, I've seen those videos where like, people just wear them in front. Are those called yeah. wrapping too? Or are those called no. just like strap it in because I'm too lazy strap to do this? It. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there are a lot of different kinds of carriers. So we have uh, front pack carriers, which is what I think you were just referencing. Yeah, with the little straps, like little buckles. Yeah. yeah. And uh, soft structure carriers, which is kind of the same, but it can go on your back. Uh -huh. And ring slings, mate Ring mate slings? Yeah. They're These awesome. names are, they're, <laughs> are quite the... Like the ones. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are woven wraps or stretchy wraps, and there are so many options. Well, thank you so much. We, I appreciate thank the information. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. That's Baby Wrap Battle from Andy with Offbeat Doula and Lacey with Chinook City Doulas. And always, <laughs> Proud for Chili and Nathan Chan signing off. Make sure you tune on a Wednesday with Water Birth Wednesday, and I'm going to give you a baby through water birth on Wednesday.